the dispersion is something that is 100% responsibility of the master batch manufacturer, okay? Um, dispersion must be perfect. Um, and the way that we define a dispersion is the following. It is a process by which the pigment agglomerates that usually appear with pure pigment powders are mechanically uh, separated into single crystal units and prevented from agglomerating again. Okay, a well dispersed master batch provides improved first time quality when used in the plastics transformation process, in this case, in the cable uh, production process. And this is especially crucial with high speed uh, production. What does a well dispersed master batch provide? It provides maximum color strength, maximum color performance, if you like. You, you take the maximum color out of the pigments because they they are separated into single crystal units and each single crystal unit has the maximum effect in the melting process when being incorporated into the base compound. And this is one advantage that you get more color strength out of the master batch. But the other advantage is that by avoiding um, pigment agglomerates, what you avoid is having impurities in your cable layer, in your cable insulation. Because remember, a pigment is an impurity in the cable. The pigments, be uh, them organic or inorganic uh, pigments, doesn't matter. When they are agglomerated, they have no electrical and no mechanical characteristics. All they do is reduce those characteristics, especially the electrical characteristics. In the case of um, automotive wire, they lead to sparks. So therefore, it is not only a question of improving the color strength and taking the maximum performance out of what you are buying, it is also reducing sparks, uh, problems with uh, electrical characteristics or mechanical characteristics, and therefore increasing first time quality. But going back to the process of dispersion, how, how does um, a master batch manufacturer disperse the uh, pigment agglomerates during the manufacturing process of a uh, master batch. And I have a nice video that explains this. It's a 3D video that I am going to run now. So let's go here and see if I run this video. Here we go. Okay, so as you uh, will see in this video, we have the different ingredients, the pigments, and the pigments, when we buy them, they come with these agglomerates. This is a classic characteristic of pure pigments. So in the first stage of our manufacturing process, the process of the master batch manufacturing, in the mixing stage, we start to disperse somewhat those agglomerates, okay? Um, it is a f it's 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 the so-called a pre-dispersion stage, um, if you like. Huh? Um, but um, but the real work of uh, dispersion happens uh, at the extruder level. So we also extrude our products. So we have double screw extruders with hammers and screws, and those hammers and screws they do this mechanical work. They do this mechanical work uh, on the on the uh, uh, big pigment agglomerates, separating them into single crystal units. And those single crystal uh, units are then uh, surrounded by the corresponding polymeric base. Um, they are encapsulated uh, by the polymeric base, as you can see in this uh, video, and therefore preventing those um, uh, single crystal units to agglomerate uh, back again. And then a, a, a bunch of those um, uh, encapsulated uh, crystal units are formed into, um, into those pellets at the uh, cutter head, as you can see here. And then, of course, at a microscopical level, you can see those uh, single crystal units, how they are uh, uh, encapsulated. Okay, so this is how dispersion is done uh, in order to provide a, a perfect uh, master batch. This is about dispersion.